Hi, this is Bobby from Horse Tender Studio, and today I'm going to be doing a double unboxing of the first two Premier Club horses for 2022, uh, Zafira and Constantia. <laughs> if I said those names right at all, I have no idea. Anyway, um, they both came out um, fairly recently-ish because the first one was delayed for a while, so she came out just a little while back, I think. And then Constantia, the beautiful standard bread, just came out. So, here's top of the box. was super, oh, and there's a book, catalog book, in a box. I was super excited about this one. As soon as they had announced her last year, I was like, yes, I am definitely joining the Premier Club because I love the Radians, I love her pose, and most of all, I absolutely love the color. And her box has the story on the back of the sculpture. Beautiful picture box. I love the boxes that the Premier Club horses come in. I usually don't keep boxes except for these because they're so pretty. <laughs> um, oh, and in the boxes, certificate of authenticity. Let's open her up. You may already know this part of my story with the Premier Club. I was not in the Premier Club until I fell in love with Troubadour and I had a scary, stressful time trying to find one because um, he was very popular and there were several times where I saw one for sale and reached out and they were sold and I was worried that I either wouldn't be able to find one or I'd have to pay a lot to find one and it was pretty much I did end up getting one and he's one of my favoritists you can actually see him right there on the shelf hey buddy <laughs> I'm such a dork um, but after the struggle to get myself a troubadour I pretty much made the decision that I was going to join the Premier Club after that um, so that I would make sure I got any of them that I really really wanted and if I didn't want them I could sell them you know or be one of those controversial people who customizes them more on that in a bit <laughs> um, so I've been in the Premier Club the last couple of years, I guess. I think last year was my first year. Oh, she pretty. Got her out of the bubble wrap. Outside bubble wrap. I'm gonna get her bag off. There she is with her bubble wrap. Put on. There we go. Pop it off. Oh, look at her. Look at this pretty girl. Color is gorgeous. Absolutely love this color. Yeah. She's a very pretty girl. And I'm not seeing any flaws on her at all. I'm sure if I got a magnifying glass and got really close, I could find some sort of teeny tiny things. But you may also know this about me. I just don't get wrapped up about stuff like that. Um, these are mass produced toys, y'all. Um, and I think about childhood me. If I ever saw a briar that looked anything like this, I would have freaked out. So 
yes, she is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous girl. So nice. All right, I'm gonna stand her over here. And then I'm gonna put her wrappings off to the side. And we're just gonna move on to the next one. This is a two for one unboxing. And here's Tea Light, my kitty cat, passing through. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Oh, she doesn't really wanna say hi. She just wants to be in the middle of everything. She's my supervisor. So here's the box for Constantia, or however you say her name. I'm sure would not be surprised to find out that I've butchered both of their names. I'm just gonna roll with it. You know how I roll? Unedited. No cuts, no retakes, just film and ramble. Now this box just got here today and it got uh, a little beat up. The side of the box is kind of caved in, so I'm having a bit of a struggle. Wow, I might not be able to get the outer box out. Because it really got mushed on the side. This is where if I had any film editing skills, I would put up one of those like technical difficulties, like cutscenes, you know, like elevator music, like something else for you to look at other than me making faces while I try to. Okay, she's out. Yeah, box didn't get completely crushed, but like just enough to where did not want to come out. All right, yay! Look at this. There's the front of the box and the back of the box. Now what I mentioned earlier about being one of those controversial people who uh, might customize a Premier Club horse, that's what I'm going to be doing. Because spoiler alert, I actually have um, another Constantia coming and another Fire coming. I will actually have a couple of each to customize and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and I just decided that this was the year to do it. There's a little book catalog that came with this one and there's her certificate of authenticity and here she is in her bag. We'll start getting that open. Now as far as colors for Zephyra, I'm actually thinking of doing her as um, a half Arabian, half Appaloosa. So she'll be actually Appy colored. I think that'll be really pretty. And I love painting Appies. Um, and then for Constantia, once again, I'm sorry if I'm just butchering these names, I'm just gonna keep going. You can cringe every time I say it, and I apologize. Uh, the first one I am envisioning as a luscious liver chestnut. Um, it's a color that I like painting. Um, I feel like I'm getting kind of good at it, and I think she would be really pretty in that color. So I will have a trotter in a liver chestnut available at some point. Stay tuned. So here she is in her plastic. Pop her out of there. There she is. She's got bubble wrap on her leg, tail, and head. Oh yeah, because, wow. Yeah, they, I'd say they definitely stepped up the peg game. Look at that. 
That's a that's a beefy pig. Holding up the whole horse by that one foot. This is this is really cool, guys. Really cool. Look at her. She is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. As is often said, I don't think the pictures that were put up of her did her any justice. In person, in hand, actually I think both of these horses are way better than they, they seemed in the pictures that uh, were put up. So just remember that guys, if you see official promotional pictures put up of a new model and you're skeptical, you might still give it a chance in hand. I think they're way better. So now I'm just working on getting her stand out. Really interested to see this stand, the pictures of it make it look really, really neat. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of innovative stuff coming out of Briar right now. Well, out of a lot of things, but they're really, really working on some neat new stuff. Okay, so I think she goes. she is. Absolutely love the coloring. Love the coloring. Look at that. So yeah. This is such a cool mold. I can't wait to put some paint on one of these girls. And this is the first one. Um, I'm expecting actually two more. And uh, so out of the three, I'll pick the best one to add to my collection, even though I don't collect OFs. <laughs> I keep saying that, but uh, pretty much almost everything you see on the shelves behind me, most of them I've acquired uh, just this this year, this past summer, since Briarfest ish. So I don't collect OFs, but they just they just happen. So I'll pick the best one of these girls and the best one of the other girl to add to my collection. And then the others are gonna be getting painted, y'all. So let's see if I can hold these two girls up together. So there we go. Premier Club horses number one and two for 2022. And uh, I think they're both gorgeous. I think uh, people will need to stop being so picky. <laughs> um, and I should probably stop there. <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, kind of a, a two for one deal on an unboxing of brand new Briar molds super super cool um yeah i'm very happy with both of them um anyway thanks for watching as always um hope you guys have a great day and i love you love y'all thank you so much for the support i'll talk to you later bye